Welcome to another edition Out There Nomad. In this episode, I'm excited to share with you my new backpacking stove, the Solo Stove wood gasifier, and alcohol burner. Let's get out there. Okay, you get into camp, and after a long day of hiking and marching around through and tromping through the woods, you're probably gonna wanna sit down and make some food, maybe some hot chocolate, some coffee, uh, what hikers do, you know. So, um, as many of you know, for a long time I was using my uh, MSR pocket rocket, ran off of uh, isopropyl fuel, sorry, it ran off of uh, Isopro fuel, it's a butane propane mix. And it worked really well. I really, really liked that uh, setup. But unfortunately, after about eight years of steady, diligent work, my pocket rocket finally gave up on me this year. Um, I'm not sure what happened. I think a, a valve or something eventually just finally got clogged up in it. And honestly, I'm not really that upset about it. My That thing has been all over the place with me and has made a lot of meals. Um, that being said, I've decided I'm gonna go ahead and move on and try something different. And like I was saying before, I went ahead and went with the uh, solo stove uh, light version for backpacking. And it's a uh, accessory that you can buy separately, uh, the alcohol burner itself. So this is my Snow Peak Titanium cook pot. I like to keep in this little bag with this band to keep everything together. And as you can see, the actual solo stove itself fits perfectly right down inside this nest, nice inside there. And also, the alcohol burner itself nests nicely inside of this whole setup here. So this is the stove itself. It's a wood, uh, re-gasifier wood burning stove with an alcohol burner right here. So the breakdown for this stove is pretty simple actually and I really, really like how it's performing so far. There's a couple of things I don't like about it but we can get to that here towards the end. So this is the Solo Stove Light. Uh, it's gonna run you roughly $70 uh, by itself. It's a uh, double walled construction, so there's actually two layers of wall on the inside. I don't know if, yeah, you can sort of see how the second wall starts at the bottom there, and there's actually a gap um, all the way across the bottom that allows the bottom to stay fairly cool as it's bringing air in. Uh, it's pre, it's a, uh, what it's considered is an inverted down gas gasifier stove. So basically this little shroud comes out and nests inside there and it acts like a little wind block here, sits on the top. But getting into the gasifier portion of the stove, so how it works is basically you build a little fire down inside this little cat tray here. And because it has a wire frame across the bottom, after you started the fire, oxygen begins to heat up inside of here and causes a natural drafting uh, action to happen. Because of the heat, as the oxygen leaves through the top, it's gonna draw air in through these bottom holes and that's gonna actually cause a uh, gasifier uh, effect to happen. So what happens is it'll actually uh, re-burn the wood gas uh, that comes from the smoke and the soot and everything else as you're burning a fire, it'll re-burn that wood gas and burn it through these little side holes. And it'll draw warm air in through the bottom and cause almost like a, a rocket stove type of effect, but it's a gasifier. So as the preheated oxygen feeds back up into the wood box through the smaller holes at the top, causing a secondary combustion, allowing the fire to burn more completely and with less smoke. Uh, and so far, with having no moving parts or anything, and you can literally bring, have the wood is out here, you'd use a handful of sticks, I'll show you here in a second, you can get a fire going and get it going inside of here and boil water and do what you need to do. 
Um, I actually haven't tried really doing much cooking. I've mostly made coffee and boiled water and, and he heated up water with this. But for a backpacking type situation, that's really what you're doing. You're not, I, I don't know, personally, I don't get into extensive cooking. And any type of cooking that I'm doing while I'm backpacking or hiking or through hiking, I'm gonna be able to do with this little stove right here. Just to get into a little bit of the technicals on this, the dimensions on this is 3.8 inches by 4.25 inches. So, I mean, it's fairly small. You can see, I mean, it packs down nice and neat. And when you set it down and you put this on top, it's a nice, neat little package. And they, get, they give you this little break here on the side so you could feed your sticks in. And we'll get into that a little bit here later too. If you find value in these videos, go ahead and feel free to give it a subscribe, a like, and ding that bell notification so you always stay caught up on whenever another out there nomad video is coming out. Also, don't forget to check out my new website, outtherenomad.com. Find me there. So the solo stove alcohol burner is about $20 separate you don't uh, as far as I can see they don't have a kit that is included with this whole setup here but it comes with an extinguisher that sits right on top of this little lid locks down on there real nice it's not going to come off on you and you don't have to worry about it slipping off there or anything like that but the extinguisher itself it also acts as a regulator so if you go like this you can sort of open and shut this lid here so I get to focus a little better open and shut this lid here so that you can sort of regulate the flame that comes off of the, the alcohol burner itself. And honestly, I've only really tried doing that because like I was saying, I only mostly boil water with this system. Um, I haven't had too much luck with that regulator. I, it honestly hasn't really worked really well. As an extinguisher, works great. It takes a second for the flame to still go out, but it works great as just being able to plop on top of there and get your flame to go out when you need it. As, as for the rest of the alcohol burner itself, it carries uh, roughly three ounces, I think, four ounces of uh, fuel. You open the lid, and on the inside of the lid, they have a really nice rubber gasket that goes all the way around the inside. And I really like the brass on this little alcohol burner. It's a beautiful little piece of kit. It's solid construction too, this lid's super thick. The rubber band on the inside there, is, if you can tell, is also super thick. And it's made so that you can actually store fuel in there. And I don't know if you can see that rolling around in there. There's actually still fuel in there from the last time I burned this. And I've used this a handful, of, uh, probably a dozen times now on different trips. And I'm really liking how this works. It starts really easily. You can use a ferro rod on this, no problem. Lighter right away not an issue. Um, and because you can store it full, it just pull it out, open it up, light it, and it's going. So it burns uh, denatured alcohol, ethanol, uh, marine stove fuel, methanol, rubbing alcohol, and similar fuels. Uh, there's actually a video that I watched based on these little alcohol stoves, not the solo stove, but alcohol stoves in general. And I'll go ahead and leave a little link card right here and a link in the description below for that video. I found it extremely informative. And if you guys are interested in trying to get into these little alcohol burners, um, I suggest checking it out. But they basically essentially did a test of a bunch of different types of fuels, including rubbing alcohol, denatured alcohol, mineral spirits, and, and uh, different fuels for the alcohol burners. And the one that came out on top with the best burn times and the least amount of soot uh, was the heat. And you can pick this up, it's uh, for winter treating and water removal, antifreeze for gas lines and vehicles. Um, but you can pick this up at pretty much any gas station. Literally, I, I picked this up at a gas station on the way up here today. Uh, this ran me about $4. If you went to an actual like Walmart or um, an actual auto parts store or something like that, I bet you you can find this or order it online through Amazon, maybe in bulk or something. Personally, I haven't been able to find anything larger than this, but I bet you if you buy it in bulk, you could probably get it even cheaper. And it burns really, really well, keeps your, your uh, pot nice and clean. There's hardly any soot, if any, on the bottom of the pot. And it just burns with a really nice clear blue flame, which you'll see here in a minute. That just, it's, it's hard to tell it's even there sometimes until it really gets going. So 
The dimensions on uh, this little wood stove or this little alcohol burner actually is 2.9 inches by 1.8 inches. So honestly, it's really nice and small and the overall weight without fuel is 3.5 ounces. So definitely super nice, small piece of kit, really easy to use. Part of the reason why I chose this little setup here is the fact that there are no moving parts. There's nothing that's gonna break or get damaged or I mean, short of smashing the whole system into bits, I'm not gonna, there's nothing that's gonna break down on this. Maybe the rubber gasket or something, maybe this metal eventually. But honestly, the, I'm really impressed with what Solo Stoves put together here. And their construction on this is super solid. I haven't seen any warping. As you can see on this, there's some definite patina on there already, just from the burns I've done already. I'm, like I was saying, probably a little over a dozen. I've cooked probably 20 pots of coffee and a couple meals and stuff like that on this. So, so far, definitely really impressed.